So recently, Luke introduced me to a new map in CSGO, DE Portugal. This map was created by Pingo Tinto in Source, but was recently remade in Global Offensive by a man known as Unreal. This map takes place in what looks like a crowded city in Portugal, full of signs, buildings, and even scooters. Me and Ventana spent three hours playing this map, figuring its secrets and boosts. After a good amount of playtime, me and Luke analyzed the map and what changes could be made. Before I continue, you should know the basic layout and callouts for the map. It's split into three lanes, A-long, B-long, and mid. The bomb sets are connected by mid-road and CT spawn. This allows for fast rotates, but can easily be cut off by smoke. Some basic callouts are wine cellar, elbow, ladder room, Rapunzel, ledge, wood, scooter, market, reception, restaurant, courtyard, grill, box, and a bunch more we didn't bother to name. Although very aesthetically pleasing, this map offers a balanced max where each team is able to change a bombsite take with a single click. As me and Luke played the map, we learned how each game can be incredibly different due to the amount of interesting sight lines and nade spots. A great example of this is Red House on A-Site. Next to the bomb site is a house with great sight lines on the bomb. If planted properly, this allows for easy bomb site plants when it comes to defense, if you can plant properly. But due to the fact that smoke nades can easily counter this, a good teamer can easily combat it. Another sign this map is balanced is the timings. We tested several starting option positions and found that it is relatively fair for both sides when it comes to who can get there faster. This is great map design for the fact that both longs rely on aim, and not on who gets there first. We spent over an hour just talking about what could be done in this map, so instead of reading off a script, I'll show you the actual conversations we had in-game about the strengths and weaknesses. Let's talk about Courtyard. Yeah, where are you, anyway? There you are. Uh, that's right here. Stop, no clip. So this area... Me and Max played, uh, how many, how much time? We played like three play? hours of this map. Three hours Stop running. of this map, just, just straight. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, we, we, t we, the problem with this map is that... We never used this map. Like, unless we were messing around, this area uh, yeah. is kind of pointless, because it's super cut off from every bomb site. Mm -hmm. And it, there's, no, there's no purpose in rotating, because rotating, you could take the mid-road, which is the road that through the whole yeah. map... And, so, and it, honestly, the only reason I would ever go through is if they let them have them smoked off. Reception, which is right here. Yeah. That the only reason I would go through is to get here ladder. And then. Uh, and then, so you could have a flank. And so that you, way we could have a flank on the guy that would be right here. Yeah. Right so there. what you could do that'd be cool if you could set up a wall bang right. So you could have say someone plant the bomb right there. Scoot. scoot. Yeah. And you could set up a little wall bang to where like. You know exactly where they're gonna be. Which is uh like something like this. Oh yeah, little just, uh, like smokes you could do. Just little smoke smokes that you can do. A really like, great way to pop. Smoke down, then I can just come around. Yeah, <laughs> pop flash. That pop flash is amazing. Look that second smoke I spewed. Look, it just smoked off CT. Mm -hmm. See, so and you like, can smoke off Rapunzel up there, areas. or well, what did we uh, end up calling that? Rapunzel. No, up here next to it. Oh, we ledge? called that either catwalk or ledge. Yeah, and you can do a little parkour thing. And now, one of the big problems that I have, right right there, like, look at this. Oh, I yeah, look, look at this. see you planning and be like, oh, let, let me just... Wait, can you let me see? Just this guy. Oh, there oh yeah, that's out. super bug. Go stand over there. Go stand over there. Yeah, like, look. Wait, let me I mean, buy a scout. Can you jump scout? No, you can't. You can't shoot. There okay, because if you can shoot through you that... You see this guy? You see this guy? You see that guy? Let me see. Yeah, you can't. That's broken. There are a few problems with B site. First of uh, all, a quick quick problem that I still have a huge annoyance with. You can throw yeah. fire in water. At least because you're jumping like <laughs> a good distance. I don't think that's an actual map issue though. That's just that's just CSGO. Because uh, uh, it's not. This isn't enough water. Uh, yeah. uh, another issue which you happens can plant... all across the map, as you can see, yeah. right here. This area is able to walk around in, right? Mm -hmm. But it do it doesn't exist on the mini map. Oh There's yeah, I do. oh I didn't notice that. That is true, right here. Yeah, I was looking at the mini map and that's... I noticed a lot of bugs like that. Oh, that's odd. Maybe you could do a boost to get up there. That would be useful. But, uh, one really annoying bug on this map is you can actually plant. I'm not gonna do it, but you can plant the bomb under lily pads, so you won't be able to see. Oh yeah. The ble that actually happened to us in game, and it's like yeah, in game. Well, broken. actually, I, I did that on purpose. Also, look over here, Luke. Uh, I don't think you noticed this. You can see through these cracks. Oh yeah, in the I wood, and that. you can just—it's super overpowered. Well, you're... it's not really because you can see through. Oh wait. Yeah, look, you—you you have. You can see through when you're looking at it directly from this. 
Yeah, like you really can't tell if you're on the move. But if you are just camping here, like especially this little gap right there. If you're just sitting here with an op, you have a if you have a good reaction time. Just broke that. I don't I, I don't even Yeah, these these things are kind of stupid. But you can have two people one person plant the bomb and you can have two people watching from both windows to give it cover, which you have mm -hmm. you have views of Rapunzel, you have a view of CT. The cool thing about boosting up here is you're actually able to see all through mid uh mid yeah which you can is... see all the way through mid one thing that's good about this map is a lot of it's labeled it's like the groceries yeah. labeled grocery reception CT's red labeled. house right here yeah this is elbow now you can actually get window. boosted up here are uh, there might i think there is a way to self boost if you use this uh no i don't i don't think so if maybe there might be a an, like an impressive i mean it's possible it might be possible it, i don't know it might be but possible. you can boost up here catching people off guard yeah, uh, another cool thing, which is nice, I like about this, you can get some nice pop... <laughs> nice pop flashes. You can get some nice pop flashes yeah, out, that hole. just like that. Makes sense. So that'd be... Mm -hmm. Another cool thing about, this is called reception, pretty obvious why. There's these two, clever by the map creator, putting two giant window panels. Uh-huh, so like, so if that I way you throw can... this... Let me show you, if I throw the smoke name right... Nope. Now follow the smoke name path. Yeah, but you can easily set up some really nice smokes to get you into cover. Or into sight. Should be a doorway leading right to this hallway right here. Yeah, because the problem with taking B site is that you have really two entrances. You can come from there's mid. Only, yeah, there's only. So you really can come from mid, grocery, or A long, but you can really. No, if but if you're on this side of the map, right? Yeah, so if you're on the A side. A side, you can only go through yeah, CT so... or here, and as soon as you come out here, you're extremely exposed. So a way. To... And if you try and go anywhere else, then you're. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm yeah. kind of talking okay. to everybody. If you so... try and go anywhere else, you get cut off. You, it takes you long. Yeah, a way to fix that is this doorway that leads to nowhere could actually lead to grocery. Sure. One very significant problem with this site is that there's just so much cover. So I feel like they could chop off some of these boxes, maybe make this thinner. Because since it's so wide, it kind of limits your Most vision. of the site is taken up, honestly. I think uh, some of the boxes should disappear. Like this yeah. one right here. This one, I, I feel like this is just top boxes. one they could get yeah. rid of. Oh, another really cool way to take this site we found is... Uh, oh, yeah. Can you boost me? I'll, I'll... Fine, fine, fine. You can, I'll boost you. <laughs> We found a really you cool way. You sit there. A really cool way to take the site is you can be boosted up there, and you'll have a great view on anywhere on the whole site. Yeah, there are textures that definitely can, need to be resolved. There are definitely textures that have trouble. Be long. Be long is quite balanced. There's a cool thing is um, if you start off on B, you have a good view, so where you can pick a player if they're peeking B long. Uh, you can even see up to grill if you want to jump scout. Uh, what you're able to do though is if you sit up here, you're able to pick the player that's sitting on box. As well. As and if you want to not be seen, because if that player is okay. holding a close angle, did I hit you with a knife? Sorry. No, but you keep like, I'm trying to talk <laughs> about this cool area where you can mm -hmm. do this little parkour to get up. <laughs> uh, one thing about B site, which is really really good. Is, I'm gonna place a decoy nade. Okay, so imagine this is bomb. You can plant over here. And what you're able to do, if that's planted, is you can run all the way back here and have just a perfect sight line of where the bomb is. Now, uh, this could be considered overpowered, but there's lots of ways to beat this. Not, no, there, there is an easy way. You just smoke off. That's, yeah, that's. Smoke off. There you go. It's, it's all gone. Yeah. Oh, look, I'm diffusing the bomb. But overall, my biggest gripe would have to be mid, and how the front wall and reception closes off the whole courtyard area. After several matches, we quickly learned it's best to not go down mid for these reasons. Lastly, I think this map would be a great addition to CSGO for the fact that each round we played would change drastically due to the amount of variables that were present. CS is becoming more repetitive as strats and rolls become more stale. Whenever I played this map, I felt that any strat could work if, cor if executed correctly. Although Silver is considered a terrible place for dreams of global to go to die, you gotta admit lower level games can be more fun to watch due to the amount of variety that goes on during the games. At first I hated this map, I thought it was cramped and too complicated, but I learned after hours of testing that it could become something great. I don't expect much of a response from this video, I would just like to be heard. Gaben, if you can hear me, variety is key to the success of your game. And like this map, there are many ways you can accomplish that. Thanks.